Thank you for stopping by Genesis Warranty Solutions and the Adjustable Bed Doctors YouTube channel where you can learn to repair your adjustable bed versus replacing it, saving yourself some big bucks. Today we want to talk a little bit about the um, Jackson Shifuda uh, electric uh, linear actuator motors that bear uh, this specific part number that you see here. And we're going to tell you what some of the common issues with these motors are and how we can help you acquire the correct part and the right service for your adjustable bed. First, let's talk about the type of brands of beds that use these type of actuator motors. Uh, Ergomotion, Serta, and Simmons all use these type of linear actuator drive motors. So one of the biggest complaints that we get is people call in saying that the motor is now making a clicking sound or it's stuck in up position or it's just not working and all you hear is the notorious clicking sound. So one of the things that we're gonna tell you is how to troubleshoot it to find out exactly what the problem is and uh, how you can proceed in repairing it. First thing you wanna check is the remote frequency switches. Uh, as you see here, you can find those located on the back sides of your remote by removing the battery compartment door. Be sure that your frequency switches on your remote control uh, both match the control box. And uh, if that checks out and you still continue to hear the clicking sound with the motor, the next thing to do uh, is how do you determine uh, which is bad? It potentially could be a control box or it could be the actuator itself. So let's get right into how you can diagnose and troubleshoot uh, your own bed and figure out what's going on. Taking a look at the control box to kind of familiarize yourself with it, this is mounted to the underbelly of your bed and all your um, accessories like your massage vibes plug into this and also your head and foot uh, linear actuator motors plug right in here. So the best way to test it out, let's say for example, the head of your bed is not uh, working. So what you wanna do is unplug the head motor and plug it into the foot or the feet section located as, uh, on the control box. Just reverse the plugs around. And then you wanna power the bed back on and use your remote control to articulate the head or the foot. Well, in this case, if the head motor was bad, it'd be plugged into the foot port. And so you would use the foot control on your remote to articulate the head. If the head motor still clicks while plugged into the foot port of the control box, that definitely means that the head motor is bad. If for some reason that the head motor now uh, starts to work again while plugged into the foot port, well, that would indicate that your control box uh, would be faulty and you would need to replace that. So, um, that's how you're going to test out the motor and the control box. And we put the notes here again, just to kind of reiterate what we just talked about on how to diagnose that particular problem. Uh, so, you know, if we can help you out, if you need uh, parts for your adjustable bed, or you in fact need service for your adjustable bed, uh, please call the number that you see here on the screen. One of our representatives would be happy to assist you and uh, get the parts that you need for your bed. Thank you for stopping by our YouTube channel and visit us online at www.genesiswarranty.com.